Hola Chicanos, I've just gotten back from my other channel, uh, the Hardcore Hermit there. Uh, we're starting with Aries, so... Mm, let's use this check out like this. Glow in the dark, even though I'm not in the dark. You may be in the dark, maybe that's why I'm using it. That's maybe why you came here. Oh, we got a Queen of Wands, Aries. So this is uh, definitely we're on the right track. This is you, Aries. And the lovers, you could be with the Gemini or you could be in a contract. This is Gemini energy. This can be any fire sign energy. So, I like it because normally the cat's black in this one and this one it's white, eh? That's kind of cool. This is glow in the dark. It's supposed to glow. I've never actually charged it up and tried it, but maybe I'll do that one night for a reading. Uh, so Gemini, you can be working with a Gemini. And these, the righteous rams. Look me into the soul cycle of the righteous rams there, Holy Spirit. Oh. Ooh, queen of Pentacles and a Queen of Wands. So there's something to do with the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands here. This is an outside-the-box thinker. She's very popular, usually really easy on the eyes as well. Uh, Queen of Pentacles thinks practically. This could be one person, too. This could be somebody who's an outside-the-box thinker, but when it comes to their money, they think practically. Okay. Ooh, quick coming in messages about to this queen they're coming in to this queen of wands so i'm thinking they're coming into you there aries quick coming in messages you're the queen of wands definitely out of all the people i've seen so far okay what's in the heart of the situation holy spirit for aries i'm not talking about I mean, these three okay the heart of the situation is that, oh, wow, 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 wow. The heart of the situation is basically, okay, there's a Queen of Cups in there. I thought these were all Major Arcana. you got a Queen of Cups you're possibly dealing with here. Uh, somebody who wears their heart on their sleeve. They're an emotional person. They um, See, there's water all around the throne. Waters mean emotion in uh, the tarot. So that's quite the cup she's got there, though. I notice it's got crab arms coming out of it. Looks like. Hmm. I don't know. Those are sorry. You know what that is? That looks like the Ark of the Covenant. If you ever read what the Ark of the Covenant looks like in the Bible, it's got two of those angels pointing towards each other. Like, uh, I think they're called seraphim or cherubim or one of those things. I know that a lot of people think that they're, they're, they look, they're the Cupid, but they're not really. They're actually like that. <laughs> Like angels of war, so that's why they were placed on the Ark of the Covenant, because that's what they, the Ark of the Covenant was for. It was for war. It was for them to win the win the war, or they could have never. They never, never had that. Let me put it this way: the giants would have just crushed them, and that would probably be the end of the story. The end of the Bible, Bible story, right there. <laughs> so we got. Uh, this is a faded event. Whatever this is with this Queen of Cups, and this this Queen of Cups could be strong, or this could be because of your strength. I'm thinking. Hmm, Aries, Aries, Aries. Something to do with the Queen of Cups, eh? Like I say, you could be this Queen of Cups too, just if you're in your emotions, so. But I'm taking it as somebody else. Uh, what's a challenge? Oh, okay, ouch. Wow, these both split. Kind of, there's, I'm still going to take them up right there. There's, there's, they're, um... Challenge could be something to do with a Sagittarius, or this could be your angel team. Maybe taking a leap of faith is what I'm thinking it is. Uh, taking a leap of faith with your your uh, the dream team here, your spiritual ancestors, your angels, whoever you prescribe to, the unseen forces that uh, guide you on your merry way. Hopefully not off the cliff, but even if the fool does fall off the cliff, there's always a hand there to catch him because the. Most High never forgets about his fool. He actually keeps more eyes on him than anybody else, I think. And the fool just re represents somebody who's 
whose eyes have been opened. It doesn't. You could be like ninety-five years old and be the fool. You could be. It doesn't matter. It has nothing to do with age. Actually, sometimes I think children are the most most uh, aware of this. So, like he, like Jesus said in the Bible, he likes uh, the Lord likes it, people to come to him as little children, right? So, but this is in the challenge position. So you're challenged to maybe take a leap of faith with your spirit team. That's a big challenge. So far, we got four cards out, or five cards out. Four of them are major arcana. So almost this whole read, pretty much, besides this Queen of Cups, is uh, out of your hands anyway. Major arcanas are like the forces of the uh, divine, right? So, so far, like, you, you're not even showing up in this read, except in the pre-shuffle. This Queen of Cups is... Something to do with strength. Something that's going to add strength. This Queen of Cups is somebody that receives, receives uh, people's... Uh, they listen to people. They listen to people and they try and help them, right? That's what they do. Uh, the subconscious, they're receptive, yeah. The queens, all queens are, are the receptive part of the... Like, like the emperor and the empress. The emperor is the masculine. The empress is, is the feminine. But so far, this is all angelic guidance, and angels don't really hold no sex with whether male or female because they don't reproduce, right? Or they're not supposed to reproduce. Let me put it that way. It seems like in Genesis they found they they slipped one past the goal there, <laughs> if you read that part. But uh, we got subconsciously here. Okay. Somebody subconsciously, you're thinking of, of being of either somebody who's hard at work, or you're thinking of you're you're hard at work yourself. Subconsciously is what you're thinking of. Somebody perfecting their craft, possibly. Um, in the past, how we get here? How the fuck did we get here for Aries? This one. Does it come up? Ooh, the devil. Okay, so you were brought here by the devil. Maybe in your past you were you were up to no good, or you could have just been dealing with a Capricorn in the past, or you could have somebody significant to you. You could have could have uh, could have been uh, Capricorn in the past. Okay, somebody significant. I'm taking. I know at least one of you there has there was maybe somebody lost somebody in the past who was uh, who was uh, Capricorn. Mm. Even though it's not showing up reversed. Uh, what do we got in the present moment? Present moment. Ooh, presently we've got a lover's union. Ooh. Some kind of union is going on. Whether it's you or somebody else. It's, it could be love or business. This could be business. Uh, this can be business uh, relationship or it can be uh, like relationship. It can be a spiritual relationship. It can be any kind of relationship. It could be you talking to your um, your uh, an ancestors. Totally. What do we got in the... Um, oh, these are quite big today, Spirit. In the future, we got you juggling, uh, <laughs> juggling a love offer with something else. I don't know what the other thing is. Maybe Spirit, maybe I'm not supposed to know. But you're juggling. This can be a spiritual upgrade too. This isn't I have to like the first thing that comes to mind is uh, this union I'm thinking that's presently going on is uh, something that you're gonna be juggling with the your other stuff that you do. This is, this is in the future, right? So this hasn't happened yet. This can be. Uh, I'm getting spiritual upgrade off of this. I'm definitely getting that. This adds up to three. Which is the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's also the Empress. So you could this this is uh, you in fem female form. So this could be a female's reading. Uh, what do we have in the uh, at the bottom of the deck? Remember, we got quick coming in messages. Uh, influencing this, the way you're influencing this, Aries, is <laughs> you're being ungrateful. <laughs> okay, you're being ungrateful, but you're you're still win at all costs. So. And this adds up to nine. This is which is the hermit spirit saying, "Go within about this." Okay. Uh, hopes and fears. Hopes and fears. We got the hopes. Of, oh, that's a lot, spirit. Another four. How many fours is that? That's one. Uh, 
Okay, one, two. Okay, two. We need another one. That means mainly still. You've got a lot of hopes and fears right now. You're thinking of the past. You're, you're thinking of the past. <clears throat> Something to do with an empress. This can be you. Or it can be somebody that just listens to anybody, right? It can be somebody who's well-rounded and the most love you had in the deck. You're thinking that, uh, yeah, the mo this is the most love you had in a deck. So in the past, maybe you had you had a lot of love. I'm thinking you, you're missing people like loved ones. And this is you, the Empress, and something's hidden about this. So something's hidden maybe that you you have hidden, or somebody else could have hidden something about this. This adds up to 21, just the Empress and the Moon. So the Empress could be hiding something. You're the Empress, but there could be another Empress. I'm taking it to you, though. There is a lot of fucking major arcana in this one. Let me see. What else do we got? Okay, we got the devil. We got, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's this one. Just want to make sure. Yeah, five, six, seven, eight. Holy fuck. So eight. We've only got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got eight placements out and eight major arcanas. That's fucking crazy. So almost this whole read is like uh, divinely guided. Like every, I don't think you have to do a thing in this, in this read, Aries. I'm thinking that you basically, I'd like to give you some advice, but it's not going to like, I, actually, I could give you some advice. The way you're influencing it is that you're being ungrateful. So I look at things the other way. Maybe, uh, yeah, there's something you're being ungrateful about. And you, that could be anything, Spirit's saying. Like, that could be just, like, you're, you're not being grateful that you woke up today. Because some people don't have that privilege, you know what I mean? Like, uh, the lens you're looking through. Oh, this will tell me more. What you, what's the lens that you're looking through? Okay, you're getting a different perspective of things already, so. Or you're feeling stuck. Because you got too many options. You got your eye on, on so many things right now. You, you're like a scrambled fucking egg. Your brain's like... You ever seen that, that, that those old crack commercials when they got P.B. Herman to talk to kids about crack after they, after they tried that one and people were still doing crack? Because actually, I don't know, I was kind of a kid at that time and that almost made you want to do crack when you, when, when you have P.B. Herman telling you not to do it because you're like, is he for serious? Is P.B. Herman on crack? Maybe he is and he's just not telling us. I don't know. So that one kind of backfired on him, I think. And then remember they showed the one with the pan, the fucking egg in the frying pan? So that one I don't think worked either. But that was a little better, I think, than getting Pee Wee Herman to tell kids not to do crack. Because, I don't know, that just made me want to do crack. I was like, well, if Pee Wee's doing it. Because I thought that was, he was just pretending that he didn't do crack. I think he had to do it to get off and whacking off in the theater or some shit like that. That's he, that's how he got off. Well, that's not how he got off, but that's like how he, uh, well, I'm just going to, let's just move on from here, okay? Because he's dead. I don't want to make fun of Pee Wee Herman. I love Pee Wee Herman. I used to love watching his show, Pee Wee's Playhouse. And no, he never whacked one out on, on, the, on the Pee Wee's Playhouse, okay? Not that I've seen anyway, and I think I've seen them all. So for all you people with dirty minds out there, just hush it, Okay. Uh, we got, uh, so maybe even you know, the lens you're looking through is maybe you're getting a different perspective because you got so many, when you got this many options, you got to take them down one at a time because they're just going to distract you. Because sometimes the devil will give you a bunch of options just so that you fuck yourself right over six ways till Sunday, right? Because you, nobody can handle this many options. Uh, what do we got in the environment? You're just learning something. Okay, well, that's good, Aries. You're learning something currently. So this is the this card of the student. The, or somebody's learning something in, in your environment. So, And how's this all going to end for Aries there, Holy Spirit? What's the outcome of all these? This uh, What's going to happen here? There's a lot. Like I say, now it's starting to come out. Like The only thing I can tell you is to be grateful. Because there's a lot to be grateful for, even if you don't think there is, if you look hard enough. Knight of Swords, somebody rushing in doing something quick. This could be you rushing in doing something quick. This could be an air sign. This could be anybody. But uh, more a lot, if it's not you, it's more, more likely an air sign. Rushing in doing something brave. Uh, so you could have an air sign around you. 
Uh, quick coming in messages anyway. Maybe after these quick coming messages come in, somebody's going to try something brave. I don't know. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to get one more after this because one more Holy Spirit. Well, that's quite a bit more, but Queen of Swords. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Queen of Swords. It's a Virgo, Libra, Cusper, and a conflict because somebody's holding on to something tight. A secret, possibly. This is what's causing this conflict. And a Queen of Swords who's like looking at this conflict. This Queen of Swords might have even like uh, started this conflict. It's almost like. Uh, I don't know. She's waving them. It's almost like she's going to end the conflict. See how the dust there? Or the smoke there? It almost looks like that smoke beside her. I think it's probably trees in this, this picture. But it's like she's part of this conflict, whether she wants to be or not. But the, like I say, the Queen of Swords is going to end this conflict. I know that. Because I know how she... She's not afraid to uh, end shit like that. That's why they call it the Queen of Swords. Like She'll, get, she'll probably fi figure the secret out for you, so... Maybe just sit back and watch the fireworks and this is the, and the truth will reveal itself about this there, Aries. So good luck with that.